Hey y'all, it's Megan. So today I'm back with a brand new video. I have recently subscribed to a new subscription box. This is called the Fandom of the Month Club. And I randomly found this, I want to think it was on Instagram. One of my former college buddies that I had gotten to know kind of well, not even like a super close college friend. Anyway, she posted a picture and of some of the things that she had received in a fandom of the mo of the fandom of the month club. I can't speak today. And I saw it and I was really, really intrigued. So I decided to check it out. Um, this is my first fandom of the month club. This is for the month of August. Um, they ship out very, very late in the month. I believe I got my tracking data on like the 20th or something like that. So they don't ship out at the beginning of the month. So I did just receive this. Um, the details, I believe it's $13 a month, but I did see somewhere on Facebook that they were running a code that took a couple dollars off. That code is no longer active. If I can find a current one, I will put it down below. Um, but I do know that that one is no longer active, but I will look for you. So this is the Fandom of the Month Club. Um, it's a very, very tiny box, $13, and it is jewelry um, based around a particular fandom. What got me really interested was they have had two Harry Potters, they have had a Divergent, they've had a Star Wars, um, they had a fairy tale one. I can't even remember all of them, but so I'm super, super excited that, because I love, most of them seemed literary, and I love literature, so. Alright, so this is what the box looks like, Phantom of the Month Club member. And this looks like Mario to me. I don't know if that's what it is, but with the little pipes, it looks like Mario. Um, so the back says, thank you for being a member of the Fandom of the Month Club. I hope you enjoyed this month's shipment. Um, let's see. I can link their website down below. It doesn't give any discounts or anything. They just It's their email. They want you to use Fandom of the Month Club for hashtagging. Yep, I'm willing to bet it's Mario because this is sitting on top just like this. So this seems like a magnet. It's a very, very thin magnet. But all right, so kind of bummed. I wanted it to be kind of literary, but oh well. So it comes wrapped in tissue paper. And each one comes with a little canvas bag I saw in the pictures. So this is this month's. It says, thank you, Mario, but our princess is in another castle. And I believe that's, is it Princess Peach? I believe. I never was a huge Mario fan, so I'm probably not the best person on this one. So it says, s, &S Inc. Order this month stash sack. I'm guessing that's this design on other s, &S Inc. exclusive items. So maybe, I'm going to guess like t-shirts or bags or something like that, that you might can order this um, on. All right, so I see one, two, three, four things, keeping in mind that this box is $13, so at the end of the month, I'll tell you, end of the month, end of this video, I'll tell you whether I think it's worth it. So the first thing I see, they each come individually wrapped, by the way. This looks like a ring. It is, and it has the little question mark on it. So that's cute. Um, this is a very, very cheaply made ring, I do have to say. So I don't know how durable it's going to be, but that is what it looks like. It's kind of cute. I think it's cute. Um, I don't think a lot of people would know that it was Mario, though, if they saw it. So anyway, that's what that looks like. Very, very, very thin. I don't know if it'll wear off fast, but it's cute. I like it. Okay, the next thing I see are earrings and they are some of those the earrings that don't match so this is like a little mushroom and a star and they have cute little eyes um these are okay i don't love them but they're okay they're pretty cute all right the next thing Ooh, this looks like something i might actually like really enjoy i'm a keychain addict so let me flip them around so you can see them all this is what the keychain looks like. So it's got 
a green mushroom, a red mushroom, the little flower, and then the question mark box again. Um, I actually do think I will put this on my keychain. And this feels pretty, pretty sturdy. It's not super thin. It feels like good quality. So I really, really like that. And then the last thing, I'm not in love with either, but maybe I'll get some use out of it. It is a necklace, and it's got a little video game controller, like an old school video game controller on it. Um, it's made, I don't know what it's made of actually, maybe plasticky? It smells kind of funny. Yeah, it seems plasticky with just your typical silver um, necklace on it. So, um, overall, okay, I do have to say... I do think this box is worth $13. I'm not technically thrilled with this month's theme. And I know a lot of people will love this month's theme because Mario is loved by lots and lots of people. It's just I never was a particular Mario fan. Um, I will wear these things, and if I don't specifically wear them, I will pass them along. I know several people who love Mario, and I can stash these away for Christmas gifts or birthday gifts or something that they would, you know, a little surprise that they would enjoy. So... I'm not displeased with the things for $13. I just don't love the theme. So I am going to still hold on to it, though, because like I said, the previous months I had seen were mostly literary, and I'm a literary nerd. I love all things like that. I really wish I could have gotten in on the Harry Potter one or the Divergent one or the Star Wars one. I would have loved. Uh, they also had a Narnia one. I do remember seeing that one as well. And there were a couple others. I can't remember. But, um, yeah, I think it's worth the money. I just wasn't thrilled with the theme. But I still want to give them a good report because, I don't know, I think this is kind of cool. This is a different subscription box than I've ever tried before. I generally stick with the beauty subscription boxes. And I don't know. I just think this is fun. So I actually canceled my birch box and then found this one. So I kind of replaced my birch box with this. But yes, I am going to hold on to it. Um, and like I said, if I don't love these things, I will find homes for them. So recap, we got a necklace, a keychain, earrings, and the ring. Yay! All right, so different video that I brought to you, but I hope you've enjoyed it. If you did, please like, comment, and or subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. I hope you're having a great day, and I'll see you again soon.